And I saw a really interesting uh, tweet recently, and it said, the real question is whether we have one, 10, or 100 years of chaos ahead of us, <laughs> right? That's an interesting question. It's an interesting time frame to think about. And, you know, he said, from one vantage point, particularly for non-Americans of the 20th century, it was a swirling cloud of madness from 1914 to 1991. Feels like that could be starting again, as others have remarked. The last 30 years may not be the end of history, but merely a, uh, that word means kind of like intermission, right? So it's interesting, right? What is really going on? And, you know, one of the interesting sort of frames of mind I put on this is think about 9-11, right? There are still things in the world today that we have to deal with on, a, on an ongoing basis that are inconveniences as a result of that crisis, right? Unless who loves TSA? I love TSA. Do you love TSA? Oh, I love TSA. I love it. They take those naked pictures of me. They send them off to some dark room. Somebody looks at them, right? You know they do that, right? <laughs> so, you know, I don't really – it doesn't bother me that much. But the point is that that happened 19 years ago. And there are still important changes to the world. And by the way, the TSA is maybe some of the smaller ones. If you go to some of these other countries, right, they've had massive changes in their cultures and their communities and, you know, in their entire systems as a result of this particular crisis. And so it's an interesting question to think, like, what will still be around in 19 years from this? Will there be something? Will there be nothing? I don't know. Seems like there's a lot of, lot of potential things there, but I think it opens your mind up to the, the length and the scale of this. We don't really know what's coming, right? Things could restabilize in a few months or years. Like 2008, don't you kind of feel like in your mind, 2008 was like, yep, yeah, 2008, we had like about an 18-month, two-year period. It's pretty bad. And then, you know, slow recovery, but like we got things back. And, you know, that business, small business owner mentality is kind of wrapped up in that narrative, right? And I think we're all kind of hoping for that. We're like, yeah, you know, okay, good to go, year, two years, and whatnot. And then we'll kind of get things back. Um, or you, you might think, well, what if things continue to deteriorate over time? Right? And I like to think about these two things just so I can be prepared. I'm going to talk a little bit about preparation. We don't know what will happen. But how do you prepare for whatever is coming 